I'm Peter McRae. I'm president of Triad Architects, a Columbus, Ohio-based architectural and interior design firm. And we were the design architects of record for Ashford Park. The project began with a challenge from the client. Uh, there are several sites across the country of which the Ashford Park site is one uh, where land is available and unused to date next to an existing 1970s era mall. And the question was, what was the highest and best use to put the land to? Uh, and one of the first things that we wanted to achieve was a symbiotic relationship between the existing mall and the proposed new development. And from that standpoint, we began to develop a concept for a high density, new urbanist type, mixed use, live, work, and play environment. Uh, the identified users, the identified target market, were the empty nesting baby boomers, a phenomenon for the next 20 years or so. Uh, there are going to be more um, uh, people in that demographic group uh, seeking places to live than at any time in our history. Uh, and so there were some unique characteristics of that demographic group. Uh, they're the first generation in the history of the world to identify shopping as a recreational activity. Bingo, the first symbiotic relationship. We have an existing mall that needs uh, uh, to be enlivened. It needs to be injected with some new energy. We have a brand new development where the target market is seeking a shopping experience as well as a, a a walking, healthy, environmentally friendly, uh, and energizing environment in which to live. Uh, so that was the genesis of the design, and from there we proceeded to create the urban node and the first four towers of which the building, uh, building number one, is the beginning of the development. As far as the architectural style, we, uh, uh, we have a process here in our firm that we call the collaborative design process. It integrally inserts the client as a co-designer in our projects, and we have a very active uh, client and a very um, um, broad thinking, inspirational client in Ryan Goldberg, and he had just returned from a vacation to Ireland and had observed uh, traditional uh, Irish architecture including Ashford Castle in Ashford, Ireland. That happened while we were in the process of trying to develop the appropriate uh, architectural expression for the project and it just so happens that there's an active limestone quarry right across uh, Route 250 from the Ashford Park site. Traditional Irish architecture is limestone based. Uh, we thought from a sustainable standpoint that it was important to use local indigenous material and all of a sudden we had the style of choice. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, we also thought that that style would play to the heartstrings of the targeted uh, empty nester demographic. This project also again reflects uh, the goals and objectives of a very innovative client uh, with a concern for uh, incorporating in a very realistic way uh, sustainable design and green technology. Um, and so uh, the, uh, the mission as far as we were concerned it was to investigate those options that make the most sense and could br uh, produce the most rapid return for the initial investment. Uh, the site happens to be on the Great Lakes, which is one of the highest rated wind generating environments in the nation. Uh, it has a very, very dependable um, amount of wind energy available to tap. And so we have on-site wind power generation. Uh, we've also uh, incorporated, uh, with the assistance of our civil engineering team, um, recharging the water table through bioswales and permeable pavement. We're also using cisterns for rainwater collection that will go uh, to the irrigation system. 
Uh, in addition to that, we're using geothermal heating and cooling. Uh, the, e each unit and the uh, commercial area will have hydronic heat pumps uh, and uh, will take advantage of the Earth's constant temperature to use as a heat sink in both the heating and the cooling season. Um, we're also going to use very creative daylight monitoring systems within the building so that we welcome natural daylight into the building and we have dimmers that will automatically dim interior lights so that we're not using power unnecessarily when there's adequate daylighting available. We feel that uh, this project is breaking new ground. Uh, we think that it is innovative. It's already been presented on a national uh, forum and has been enthusiastically received and picked up by the design press. It taps into a new movement in our country back towards urbanism. It is the antithesis of sprawl and it picks up on all of the things that people have found missing in their lives from an interactive, engaging, uh, living experience. And it puts them on the sidewalk and walking instead of driving from their homes to their work and entertainment. So we are uh, quite proud of what we've done here and with the debut of the first tower, uh, we think it'll set a new national precedent.